Hey guys, Kill here for another video. We're going to do some supports today in this video. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be feeding Sami or petting him because I already did. You know what? We'll still feed him, even though I got memory fragments for him. So we'll see that for last. But first, let's get some supports out of the way. Here you go, Divine One. Enjoy. Did you, uh, cook me something? Yeah, and it's got spices that'll keep you warm. I also gathered some healing herbs for you. Here you go. Um, thank you. This is all great, but what's going on? You said something that opened my eyes. If I'm going to be for real charming, I need to practice real? helping people. I'm sorry for the way I acted before. Do you forgive me? Of course. I was never upset with you to begin with. I'm glad to hear that. Everyone loved my mother because she was both charming and kind. I've got a long way to go to be like her. But thanks for helping me figure that out. You're welcome. And for what it's worth, I think you're well on your way. I have to wonder, though, if I do become truly charming inside and out, how are you going to keep pretending you don't care about cuteness, Divine One? <laughs> I'll figure something out. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think you just might change your tune. We'll see. Another nice support. But yeah, I find it interesting how uh, you fight Hortensia much more than you fight Ivy. I mean, everyone thought Ivy was going back to Xander. Well, he is Xander this game, but you're going to fight her many more times. But no. You only fight Ivy twice. Well, not counting your DLC, but, uh... Main story-wise, you fight Ivy two times while you fight Hortensia, like, uh... Three times? And if you factor in the DLC, you fight Ivy, uh... Four times, because you fight her twice in a Fel Xenolog. And you fight Hortensia twice, so that goes from, uh, yeah, you still, like, he's out by five. Alright, next is Madeline. <sighs> Time for a break, Divine One? I'd say so. Thanks for training with me again, Madeline. My pleasure. Really, I appreciate any chance to get my body up and moving. <sighs> is something wrong? Not at all. Actually, I was thinking about how glad I am to be here in your world. I'd be lying if I said I had no doubts or lingering regrets. But being here with you, I feel as if I'm becoming the knight I was meant to be. I'm happy to hear you say that. Still, I'm sorry for asking you to leave your own world. Please don't apologize. Since coming here, I've grown so much. And now... <laughs> A bug! Don't worry, Madeline. I'll take care of it. <laughs> I'll no, take care of this. I've got this. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Now, shoo. Shoo. Nice. You handled that well. <laughs> I was scared. Really scared. But not as much as last time. And that counts for something. I'm glad to be here. Learning to overcome my weaknesses. With allies I adore and respect. If I hadn't come to this world, I doubt I would have grown so much. That's what I meant to say earlier. In short, thank you, Divine One. Thank you for being such a good knight and sparring partner. <laughs> yes, I'll always strive to excel at both. I don't doubt it for a second. That was a good support, Mary. Uh oh. Marianne. I almost called her Marianne. Uh, that was a good support of Madeline. Uh, yeah, Madeline's pretty good. I still think Jade is a better of the night units. Um, but what really hurts Madeline is her speed. But uh, thankfully, by letting her train of win and giving her some speed skills, her speed has gotten better. Um, but yeah, Madeline is probably my second most used of the DLC units. Uh, Zelestia being the most useful, in my opinion. Let's see how she has to say it, Tamara. Hey, Divine One! It's Meet O'Clock! You in? That depends. Will there be a surprise bandit hunting trip this time? <laughs> no. I promise. It's just you, me, 
and some fresh grilled hunks of meat. I got a nice haul from the latest hunting trip, and I want to share the spoils. All right. In that case, I'd be happy to partake. Whew. I'm so full I can hardly move. Mm, I must say, that was delicious. Good job at the grill. Uh-oh. Giddios? Okay, before you get mad, I really did intend for this to be a plain old picnic. But there are some thugs surrounding us, and it looks like they have other ideas. What? I thought we cleared them out. I thought so too. There must have been a hideout I missed in my investigation. Oh, there are a lot of them. I'll create a breach and you run through to safety. Hmm. Good plan. But here's another to consider. Let's take them all out and eliminate the bandit threat once and for all. Wow, that's... We do that, everyone in this entire region will... Very bloodthirsty of you, Alweer. <laughs> Hate to admit it, but I like that better. I guess you're rubbing off on me. Come on. Let's make sure these jerks never ruin a picnic again. Right behind you. Right. Marin? Hmm. Hmm. Marin. It's difficult to train with you staring at me like that. Don't mind me. I'm not even here. I'm yes, you are. Observing your behaviors to gather material for my book. And how long do you plan to do that exactly? As long as it takes. Don't you worry. I'm not going to stop until I've captured every last detail. <sighs> Please, cut it out. What? I was just... You were just nothing. I'm not one of your critters, okay? Yes, I am a dragon. I live longer than humans and have certain unique abilities. But I also have feelings. I don't appreciate being gawked at like an animal. Divine One, I'm so sorry. Dragon. It's just that, you to me, you are more than human. You're a truly divine being. I wanted to make sure future generations understood that. In hopes that they would protect you, the one and only divine dragon. But I never meant for you to feel like some kind of research specimen. I know you didn't. It's all right. No, it's not. Because that's exactly how I made you feel, isn't it? Forget about the book. I'll stop writing it. I'm sorry, divine one. Marin, please. It's really okay. Yeah, I like Marin a lot. Her performance by uh, Christina V is amazing, who is uh, Sarah Mars from Sarah Moon. I like her as that a lot. But yeah, uh... Marin fits a whole tomboy club with Kie and stuff. Ooh! In fact... <laughs> sorry, my phone fell. In fact, her and uh, Kie be good friends. Kie and Tamara be good friends. <laughs> but... Oh, we're in Gwegly. Uh, it was the middle of the day when we left. Now it's completely dark. Today was quite the adventure, wasn't it? I never would have expected that a simple shopping trip could become such an ordeal. First we found that lost child. Then it turned out they were looking for their cat. And then we managed to get lost in the woods when we went searching for the cat. That's quite a co uh, sequence of events. I had no idea those woods were so deep. It didn't help that the cat was hiding on the other side of the forest. Not that I can blame it. Running and hiding is a great survival tactic. At least everyone was reunited after all that. It's nice to have a happy ending. Thank you for coming with me. I know it went a lot later than we expected. No need to thank me. Though we could have just run away from the whole mess. But... It's not like I could have abandoned you to do it all on your own. Did you say something? Huh? But nothing. Anyway, Didn't seem like nothing. You should probably hurry off to bed. I'm sure all your worried friends will give you quite the lecture in the morning. <laughs> Perhaps I should prepare myself for it before going to sleep then. Prepare yourself. Right, Gregory. I promise to make this up to you another day. That would be fun. But I don't want you to worry yourself over it. Sleep well. <sighs> Spending all your energy helping others. Just like the late divine dragon from my world. <laughs> I suppose I didn't need to be on my guard around you after all.
That was good support. Ivy and Hortensia. Oh, sorry. Hey, Ivy. Before I continue support, I like how well I like how everyone in the DLC, with the exception of Barbie, uh, Barbier, Alvier, and Sambon, act like your opposites. And Gregory's is no exception. Like, unlike Gris, who is sadistic and loves pain. Gregory is very sympathetic, cares for a lot of people, uh, and is terrified of pain. Like, he hates pain to the point where it's a phobia. Like, has an irrational fear of it. Um, and he's a good character. I like his character a lot. Very, uh, down-to-earth guy. But anyway, with that out of the way, let's continue to support for Tansy and Ivy. He's pretty good. I like it a lot. Yes? Do you think I could be like my mother someday? I mean, obviously I've got her looks already, but I'm not sure I have her other qualities. You know, Hortensia, I think you do. You lost her when you were seven, correct? Yes. But you kept living in the castle, even without the benefit of her protection. You know what a viper's den of intrigue that place is. No ordinary child could survive it, but your charisma made that possible. What are you getting at? Your wit and charm won you allies in the court and a safe place in the castle. Sound familiar? You thrived in the academy as well. You even skipped enough grades to catch up to me. All that was done by virtue of your own merit. Do you see it yet? You said you hoped you could become like your mother someday. But you already are. Your light shines on everyone you touch just as hers did. <gasps> I... I can't believe that's how you see me. Thank you. I should be thanking you. Your example has given me courage more times than I can count. Thank you for shining your light on me, Hortensia. Aw, I'm gonna do all I can to live up to the image you have of me. It was so hard not to just despair and give up when we were separated. Father was gone, you were gone, I had no one. I'm truly sorry, Hortensia. From now on, we'll be together. That better be a promise. Because you're not getting rid of me. Absolutely. We will never be separated again, I promise. I am blessed to have family like you, Hortensia. I will never willingly let that go. Good. Me neither. Right. Oh, Chloe! I love the sibling bond between Ivy and Hortensia, even though Ivy is the half-sister of Hortensia, you wouldn't know it from how he treats her, and vice versa. Hello, Princess Hortensia. Yeah, hi. Um, see you later. Uh, sorry, it's just a small thing. What is it? Is it my imagination, or are you avoiding me? Was it that obvious? Yes. Did I offend you somehow? I'd like to know what I did to drive you away. <sighs> when I'm around you, I keep thinking about... what I don't have. I mean, like, your maturity and sophistication and all that stuff. I didn't want to think about it anymore, so I just... stayed away from you. Hmm, okay. Thanks for letting me know. But I still want to be better friends with you. You do? You have to expect that every person is different. I know you've said that you wish you had my maternal sophistication, but there are a lot of things you have going for you that I don't. I'm starting to wish I had more of your special charms too, Princess Hortensia. Oh, <laughs> Chloe, <laughs> that makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I promise I'll stop avoiding you. In fact, let's hang out even more than before. There's so much we can learn from each other. That would be great. You can show me how you got to be so cute. <laughs> yeah. And once I've learned all I can from you, I'm going to be unstoppable. <laughs> I'm sure you'll catch on in no time. But first, let me wipe your nose for you. Oh, thanks. Wait, my nose was running? I didn't see it looks fine to me. Yeah, I quality a lot. 
He's one of my choices to marry, but uh, I like the Ivy a lot more. We got him, Bennett. Yes, this grilled fish is divine. Mm, it has such a supple mouthfeel. I added a pinch of salt to suck out the moisture. That makes the fish nice and tender. This might be your finest word yet, Bonet. And <laughs> that's saying something. Well, after all, I'm not just your retainer, but also your personal chef. It is my duty to know what you like and prepare your meals accordingly. I know, I'm a lucky man, but you forgot one thing. What? Does it need more lemon? Is the presentation not to your liking? Oh, not the dish. The titles. Retainer, personal chef. You left one out. Best friend. Ah, uh, right you are, Fogato. We have a long history. Sharing meals together in my parents' bistro almost every day. More than the meals was the hours we spent talking well after patrons left that I cherished. Yes, I'll always remember those days. Unlike somebody who forgot we were even friends. <laughs> I didn't forget. For friends and flavors alike, my memory is long and exacting. It's just that now I see you as more of a savior than a friend. A savior? Me? How come? <laughs> you don't understand. Of course. Never mind that. Just finish your meal before it gets cold. Dessert will be ready shortly. Dessert? Oh, baby! This is the best food in the world, bar none. I'll have a clean plate in no time. <laughs> the best food in the world. <laughs> that was a good support. I forgot a lot in Bene. I think Bene gets to a K. I think he's a cool character. But yeah, uh. Tamara Nell. Let's see what you have to say. Yeah, Ace, this Ace for was funny. Sizzle and crackle on the heat. Nothing tastes better than roasting me. Yeah! You are not easy to find, little princess. <laughs> Lady, no. I wish to discuss the food you have been leaving in front of me. Guess there's no point hiding it. Yeah, that was me. Lately, you just look so tired. Whenever I walk past you, there you are, sleeping on the ground. <sighs> I figured a good strong meal would put some pep back in your step. Forgive me. It seems that my recent outdoor naps have caused you to worry. The concern is appreciated, but I still do not understand what role the meat is meant to play. Food gives you energy, right? So, more food, more energy. Perhaps that is true for your kind, but such things fail to put a pep in my step, as you say. So, if that is your intention, I would recommend an alternative approach. Whoa, I didn't even think of trying something else. Got any ideas? Hit me. I rather enjoyed the song you were singing earlier. Perhaps you could continue that. Ooh, sure. Which one? Facing snack words? Meat on the wind? Bacon in my heart? I did not realize there were so many. I am uncertain of the title. The choice is yours. I can't believe you actually want to hear me sing! My time has finally come! <laughs> You know, I can't decide. Why don't I just sing them all for you? I would appreciate that. That was a nice support. I still love that diss Quad did about uh, Tamara singing. It was pretty funny and brutal. You know, sitting with you by a toasty fire? It feels just like the good old days. That's how we first yes. met them. We shared many a night like this after that first encounter. Our scuffle with the bandits, back when we were just a couple of travelers roving the queendom together. At the time, of course, I had no idea my princess was actually a princess. You never asked. Honestly, I assumed you'd piece it together. Listen, Princess Tamara. Most royals don't sneak out of their castles to rain justice on unsuspecting bandits. He has a point. How yeah, well... I'm not most royals. And she has a point, too. <laughs> no argument there. But really, do you remember how shocked I was to learn that you were the Princess of Solm? I had just gotten through telling you, basically, my whole life story. How I had always dreamed of becoming a knight, but my lineage made it impossible. I told you that was the reason I ran away from home. And then, 
You? I asked if you really, truly wanted to be a knight. And I said yes. With my whole heart, yes. You placed your sword on my shoulders, one after the other, and said, I hereby deem thee a knight of the queendom. And I laughed. I thought it was all in fun. But you weren't They're laughing, serious. My princess. You were looking at me like you meant it. That's a cool support. Yeah, a lot of people ship them, Manic Sigwai. Marin, your timing could not be more perfect. Please take a seat. What's this all about? I want you to be the first to experience my newest recipe. Oh, is this for a cookbook? For a restaurant, actually. I want to re-establish my parents' bistro after the war is over. I have been crafting new dishes for the menu in my spare time. That's great. What are you serving up today? Stewed chicken. Whoa, high marks on presentation. Thank you. I found a rare breed of hen and simmered her at low heat for several days. There's a variety of spices in the broth, including some with salubrious warming effects. Here, have a taste. All right, let's give it a try. Here goes. Mm, incredible. The meat is so soft, it's practically melting in my mouth. Even as the flavors mingle on my tongue, each ingredient is still unmistakably itself. The spices don't blot this out the umami taste of the chicken. <laughs> they coexist in perfect harmony. I've never heard my cooking described so beautifully. Right? An artful meal oh, an there. artful <laughs> description. You really know your way around a bird. This definitely deserves a spot on the menu. I am glad to hear you say so. That makes all my hard work worthwhile. Thank you for being my taster, Marin. It was seriously my treat. Thank you for the delicious meal. Okay. Got that support done. Ah, that's all of them. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do a paralogue here today because I actually want to get some more... Uh, I'm actually very close to having max donations to the entire map, so if we do a few more grinding maps, I'll be done. Well, let's go to bed first, and then we'll feed and pet Sami, and then, well, stop the video there. The Divine Dragon's Room. There aren't any traps in here, are there? That's a Gregory. Nah, no way. Uh, hello? I thought I was too loud. How do I do this? I don't want to be too scary. Maybe if I whisper. There's nothing worse than being startled awake. Wake up, divine one. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Is it okay... for me to be waking you up? Your expression seems to say it is. All right, let's feed Sami now. All right. Whew. Let's give him some milk. Such a cute dog. So happy. Alright, let's pet him. And that's going to do it for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all next time for more uh, supports and possibly a paralogue. Have a good day.